From first look, this backhoe may look a little small, but it can do quite a bit. In this video, we'll show you how useful this can be. The steel pin takes the load off the hydraulics. This backhoe attachment also adds weight to the back of the tractor, so you can better balance a big scoop of rocks in the loader. You can swing the backhoe to the side to keep it out of the way. There's two hydraulic stabilizers that come down to support everything. Now you can move the backhoe back and forth with confidence. These replaceable teeth in the front really do a phenomenal job of digging. To control the backhoe, there are two joysticks. With enough practice, it becomes like the back of your hand. It's kind of like playing a video game, except it's not a video game. But this hand-eye coordination that comes from video games would probably help a lot. So right now we're just trying to dig out this rock, pull as much of the dirt away as we possibly can. This is a big rock. We named it Bertha. Our basic plan is to get everything away from the rock, then we're gonna cut the rock with a concrete saw, then we'll probably need to use one of the bigger tractors just to lift the rock and get it out. Now eventually, we're gonna need to pull the backhoe closer to the rock and we're gonna be able to do this from the seat that we're sitting in right now. We'll lift the loader to take the weight off, get everything in neutral, and then just take this arm and pull us closer to the you rock. You could jump into the tractor seat and move the tractor backwards, but after doing this for a while, it's just easier to just kind of pull yourself closer to the action. Now you'll want to lift up your stabilizers and then put them back down when you're ready to dig again. And if you need more stability, you can bring your loader back down in the dirt. Right now we want to stay a little more mobile, so we'll leave it up in the air and just keep digging. Once we get some of this dirt out, we'll be able to take the loader, kind of clean things up a little. So even though this backhoe is a little small, you can see it is doing a tremendous job of getting this all exposed. This little backhoe can get into a lot of spots that the bigger backhoe will have a problem with. And this smaller machine is a lot easier and a lot more nimble to get from location to location. This smaller trailer is really easy to get in and out of locations. So these smaller machines really have a big advantage. They also have their limitations. So sometimes you have to get a little creative. Okay, well this is a long stretch. I think we're gonna have to move just a little closer, but it's pretty easy to keep inching forward. All right, let's go ahead and grab this rock and start to pull it out of here. Yep, just try that with a pickaxe. And I can assure you, I have tried. There's actually some pretty good dirt in here. This might end up in the garden. So we'll dig as far as we can and then just kind of inch forward a little bit each time. And we can also feel around for bigger rocks. You really never know what you're gonna hit until you actually start digging. We didn't know how big this rock was until we actually got it uncovered. And after a while, you start to know how big of a rock you can actually handle with your machine. This backhoe is really nice for digging out stumps. I've dug some stumps out with just the loader, but it is really a lot easier with a backhoe, of course. And it is kind of fun. The more control you have over your machine, the better it gets. Here's another really big rock that we're starting to play with. We'll roll it out so you can see it. Now we've got this bigger rock completely exposed all the way around. These rocks here are fairly soft. They're kind of like sandstone, a little bit like slate. So a concrete saw should have no problem cutting it in half. Then with the weight down, we'll be able to get it out of here. Okay, now we'll just take a few more scoops out of here. Then we'll call it a day. So you can see a little backhoe is pretty handy and it's a lot easier to manage something a little smaller like this. The bigger the machine, the harder the maintenance. And if a smaller machine will work, might as well try it first. Well, I really appreciate your time and thanks for watching.